Hey guys, well, what's going on? It's Dan and I'm back for another Stout Gaming I'm making a double battles. Uh, we are doing our second day with the Stuttgart uh, side event winning team. Uh, and we are going up against a Mousehold Palafin uh, Goldingo Arcanine Murkrow Tyranitar team. This is interesting. Hmm. I feel like Annihilate is almost always the lead here with uh, Mousehold because it's going to threaten a lot of things, not just with Final Gambit, but in general. Or not with Mousehold, with uh, Murkrow. And then in the back, I think Garchomp makes a lot of sense. I'm trying to figure out how much sense Mousehold actually makes here. Mm, we'll probably go Goldango. Goldango is an interesting Pokemon. I'm still not 100% sure how good I think it is, uh, but it performs very well at times. And the Specs build with Terra does do a lot of damage. Okay, so we take that. Right here. Normal. Hmm. I could just go for this, uh, Goldango, get some damage on it with the Annihilate. What do I have in the back? I could go for the final gamut, that seems risky. Let's go for a Shadow Claw on it and just set Tailwind. Okay. Move get Tailwind up. Okay, so it's two hit knockout. As long as this doesn't kill me. Oh, that just kills me. Okay, I guess I should have final gambited. Uh, oh wait. Do I think I can pick up the KO with Specs Make It Rain? I kind of do. We definitely tear it too. Um, I'll just style play on top of it. If they end up faster than me, this could be an issue, but they don't think they are. Oh, we might just kill this Tyranitar. Okay, and if we have Garchomp in the back and they hang on to Goldango, we're actually in a decent position. Okay, so their marker is just faster than mine. But their marker is dead too. Okay, I think we're actually in a decent position here. in. They're going to try and switch it out somehow. So I think we just go for Make It Rain again. And let's haze. Maximize damage. Uh, grass? Water. Okay, so they're just going for powerful you flip turn I guess. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's not gonna kill. Not while it's in this one. Okay. So I think this almost guarantees makes it a three on one. I don't know if it's a three on one that we win, but we'll have a decent shot at it. Because this should be a double knockout. Yep. So we know that's. I guess we don't know that it's Scarf. I mean, Water Terra Wave Crash is still gonna hurt. Last turn of Tailwind. So we Meteor make it rain again. Uh, I don't think switching out makes sense here. But we foul play it as well. Because if they target the Murkrow, then we'll get multiple hits off with a lot of stuff. I guess they could... I think the play here for them actually is target the Murkrow. But... And they're locking the Jet Punch, which is fine by me. Yeah, they're not going to do it. Uh, foul play is probably just going to kill it here off of base 160. Nice. So yeah, uh, Goldango, uh, like I said before this battle, obviously very strong, no questions about it. It's not questionable at all. Uh, I'm kidding, of course, but... It put in some work there on both sides. But, uh, yeah, that seemed pretty, pretty solid overall. I'm still trying to decide how much I like this team, but every once in a while it just does something like that that makes me think, like, yeah, it's good. And we are back with an opponent. Uh, I was going to say the mirror, but it's really not. Um... Oh, Garchomp looks really good. Oh, in the back, I think. Do they try and set Trick Room on us? They could try and set Trick Room on us. Uh, in general with this team, trying to enable something in the back has been my go-to play, and I don't know how accurate that actually is. I mean, I'm going to do it here, but... I actually think if I get Murkrow Annihilate, if I can get their Annihilate. Somehow, I think Mousehold, if we get rid of their Annihilate, actually looks nuts here. We'll put Garchomp in the back. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and dive on into this one. I like the speed control on this team. I, I love teams with speed control generally, but... I don't know, there just seems to be the occasional matchup that this team doesn't click with me uh, in my free play. Okay, so I can't taunt it because armor tail. I kinda wanna double the Ferrigraph spot. Because I don't know how much HP it has off the top of my head. And I can wait a turn on uh, Tailwind. And if it does get into a final gambit, then I can get a foul play off onto Garchomp, which isn't always nice, especially if it's Zoid Stances. Okay, Sash. Good thing I doubled it. That's fine. <laughs> I 
Do I want mouse hold now? The problem with this Garchomp is that it's Terra Fire and doesn't have a Dragon type move, which makes it considerably worse against his Garchomp. Maybe I needed uh Could Charmin in the Stomping Tantrum, or Encore in the Stomping Tantrum. I think Tailwind is going to be important to your late game, so let's get up Tailwind. I kind of just want to population bomb the Electros, but I could also Charm the Garchomp. Nah, that's Population Bomb. Because that's very likely Clear Amulet. I don't know how bulky Electros is. I don't want to Terra. Nah. Yeah. Okay, what am I hitting instead? Nothing. Okay. Well, he is tearing, but I didn't. Ground. This stomach can't from fire. Right? Yeah. I don't actually think I want... Do I want to Terra here? I mean, the play is just... No, what I have to do... Although, I have Tailwind up, right? So I've got the Tailwind advantage. Terra Ghost, that's not helpful. Where do I put the foul play? I think this is the play we have to go for, and I don't care. Please kill. Ah, just missed it. Yep, I'm gonna lose this one if they take out the guard jump here. But I couldn't terrify her because it wouldn't do anything. Yeah, okay. Uh, I probably lose. There's no way Marco can beat Electros, right? <laughs> if we doubled that, if we doubled that, so maybe there was a shot, or if, there's, if it was Terra Ground Garchomp, I think I would have won. But with that setup, no. Let me just see if we can... how much we would have done to this Annihilate better KO after me. Yeah, we would have picked up that KO. But, no, no, that Cal's from the line, I guess. I don't know, I thought I had a shot to pick up the Garchomp there. Oh well. Uh, we can do one more for this one. this team. It's 
functional mirror just have Garchomp instead of the Mora, which seems pretty nicely in our edge. I don't know how I feel about Terra Fire. Like, I know it makes me burn proof, but Terra Ground has just felt lacking damage on a lot of these. Annihilate Bleed looks safe. Probably need the Murkrow. And the Garchomp looks like a difference maker in this matchup. Then... What's gonna have some cleanup power? Goldango or Hydreigon? I think Goldango will have more cleanup power, so let's go with those four. Do I think they brought one of the ghost types in the back? I kind of do, which makes me actually want to Shadow Claw the Mouthhold. And go ahead and set Tailwind. This feels so risky, but I think they have to switch the Mouthhold out here. Come on, be a ghost type. Ah, okay. Well, that's fine. Ooh, I've never seen that shiny before. That's pretty nice. Do at least half. Ooh, not great. Let's reset the Annihilate. I think Goldango here is pretty is a pretty safe switch in. We can foul play the Glamora. Maybe doubling into the Glamora was better here. Okay, this is fine. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. So we definitely Terra make it right here, and... It's foul play in case we need more damage. Putting the string cheese mascot in position to Terra and be ahead is just so good. I also don't necessarily like the design of this Pokemon though. Is that gonna kill? Doesn't look like it. No, okay. Evile. Nice. Okay. Great spot. Great spot. I have no idea how fast Glamora is. So this 
is the last turn of Tailwind for both of us. I mean, Hydreigon's gonna have speed here. Can Hydreigon kill Goldengo neutral from... Does it matter? Because I can't switch out the Goldengo and the Murkrow. And I kind of think it's more important to preserve the Murkrow. Yeah, I think we gotta do this and... Oh, I can't switch them both out. Okay, yeah, let's do a double switch. So if I can get both of those out under Tailwind, I think it's actually a great spot for me. So this is a trade I always take. I forgot that I didn't final get it in I like. And we land a Terra, which is nice. Yeah. Okay, grass. Interesting. I probably would have killed Ganango. but now we'll have speed advantage. So I think I can just rock slide and close combat this high dragon. Because I don't think I need to uh, go for a final gamble play here. Should just kill, yeah. And then I'll have Goldango with speed. The Glamora is very interesting here. I don't know exactly what it wants to do, but this could kill. Yeah, maybe not. But we always put a Murkrow here, set Tailwind, and then Goldango will win. Even if they can, like, protect Stall Poison. No protect. Okay, I just went on this turn then. Alright, so we'll finish today off 2-1. Uh, like I said, it's a pretty interesting team. There's some things that don't fully click with me, especially the Garchomp set, but the rest of it I really, really like. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye!